okay we call this little thing baluster swap shoe is bigger than the standard shoe this one is um an inch and nine sixteenths a little bit more than an inch and a half regular shoes are an inch and a quarter so this is going to allow you to perform a baluster swap quicker than ever you don't have to repair the cap you don't have to patch anything you're just going to remove the old wooden spindle and this shoe which is bigger than normal wider than normal is going to cover the damage left by the old wooden spindles there is one particular thing about this shoe it doesn't have a set screw so no set screw but on the bottom you're going to see those four walls you're going to use them because the only way to keep this shoe in place is by applying a little bit of epoxy right here on the baluster just apply a little bit of epoxy and then you're gonna drop this shoe the epoxy is gonna keep it in place so you install the baluster you lift the shoe apply a little bit of epoxy down here and then just drop it make sure it's straight and it will stay there forever okay like I, like I said before we call this baluster swap flat shoe it's available in real satin black for half inch square baluster it covers an inch and nine sixteen so it's a little bit bigger than normal it can be used at the bottom of the baluster um, I do not recommend to be used at the top because it's gonna be hard to keep it in place I've done it in the past you just apply a little bit of epoxy and keep them in place with um, blue painters tape just until the epoxy is dry but that's that's only if you want to use them on the bottom of the railing we normally use them only at the bottom of the baluster and um, it covers more area than the normal shoe okay baluster swap flat base shoe for a half inch square baluster it has to be glue it has to be glued to the cap to <clears throat> excuse me to the baluster it has to be glue okay satin black